The FedEx Cup playoffs get underway this week, so let's break down my top options for DFS at the FedEx St. Jude Championship. In the top tier, I want to build around Scotty Scheffler at $11,700. Scheffler hasn't had a lead upside recently, but most of that's been due to issues on the greens. He has lost strokes putting in each of his three events since he finished runner-up at the U.S. Open. Scheffler is a good long-term putter, and Bermuda is his best surface, and that's where they'll be for this week at this course. Scheffler ranks 7th in the field in approach the past 50 rounds. According to Fantasy National, he is also 3rd around the green, and he ranks 2nd behind Rory McIlroy in Data Golf's true strokes gained across the past 6 months. I think Scheffler's going to rebound and show his upside once again here soon, I want to be in on him when he does, and it could be this weekend at the St. Jude Championship. In the mid-range, give me Joaquin Neiman at $9,800. Neiman is similar to Scheffler, where he's had some issues recently, but most of that's been due to some issues with his short game. Neiman struggled with the putter in three of his past four events, but he still made the cut in two of those because the ball striking has been so good. We've seen Neiman put up really good numbers on Bermuda Greens recently, and the irons have come back of late. If he can keep those irons hot and improve the short game back to where it had been back in the spring and over the course of last year, Neiman's upside should show up once again, $9,800, a good number for a guy with Neiman's ability to combine both ball striking and short game when he's truly on. And the value tier, give me Chris Kirk here at $9,000. Kirk is just a really good all-around golfer. He ranks 16th in strokes in off the tee, 42nd in approach, and second around the green across the past 50 rounds per Fantasy National. Kirk is not a great putter overall, but he is slightly above neutral on Bermuda Greens. We've seen Kirk not miss any cuts since the beginning of May, and he's had a couple of top 10s in quality events since that time. So he's probably going to make the cut in a field of 125. He's going to get you a chance that's an upside, and for $9,000, that's pretty tough to turn down. So Chris Kirk, to me, a quality value play for this week on FanDuel. That's all we got here for this week in the first leg of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Good luck to you with your DFS lineups. We'll talk to you once again next week here on the FanDuel Hurry Up.